how does this rank against some of the other charges you and I have spoken about? Well, it's uh, far more serious than any of the previous indictments. It really alleges a scheme to undo American democracy and to deny voters the right to elect their president. The problem is the evidence doesn't seem to support those very serious charges. In order to prove uh, the case, the government will have to prove me under reasonable doubt that Trump himself actually believed he lost the election fair and square. That's going to be difficult to do. The charge itself is very serious, far more serious than mere possession of classified material, waving a document in front of somebody and bragging that he could have declassified it, and certainly far, far more serious than the absurd uh, New York indictment. Uh, there's yet another indictment likely to come in Georgia, but this is probably the most serious indictment with some of the weakest evidence. So uh, we have to wait and see if they can come up with more evidence than they already have. But I don't see a smoking gun here. I don't see anybody who can credibly testify that Trump himself believed that um, the election uh, was fair and that he legitimately lost. And if he himself believed it, even if he talked himself into it, that may be a complete defense to uh, charges of uh, corrupt intention. Remember, a politician can't be prosecuted for not telling the truth or for mm -hmm. expressing an opinion different from the government's. The Supreme Court has held but under the First Amendment, there's no such thing as a false opinion or a false idea. The answer to false ideas and false opinions is the marketplace of ideas, not uh, criminal indictments. So they will have to prove that he actually believed that he was defrauding the public and the people who he asked to be as serve as alternate electors because he knew that the election had been fair. I don't think they can prove that. And so the, just the rhetoric alone is not sufficient because it's always hard to get inside somebody's head to know what their intent was. You think they'll have to prove what he actually believed as opposed to what he said and did? If not, then we're going to have to see uh, Congress meet in Ellenwood prison instead of in, the, uh, in Congress because how many congressmen are there and senators who have campaigned on uh, what turned out to be false statements, uh, you know, and uh, uh, being uh, having false statements has been part of American politics since since uh, we we overruled essentially the Alien and Sedition Acts in the beginning of the 19th century. 